Steve Gamash here for Chef Knives to Go with another quick look product review. And what we have this time is the Yahiko VG10 Damascus Guto 2 40mm knife. So this line of knives has a uh, three layer or multiple layer construction. The car, core cutting edge steel, you can kind of, these have a fair amount of polish too, as you can tell. But here's the cutting edge steel showing it from the cladding. Uh, so they've got a multi-layered um, kind of Damascus style cladding, which is soft stainless over the hard stainless core steel, which is VG10 full stainless steel. It's a um, very common, uh, often used uh, uh, steel, if I can get my words here, but um, very popular in lots and lots of knives. It's well proven. It's a good stainless steel. It sharpens up well, holds a reasonable edge, not too hard, not too soft, a little bit of forgiveness to it. So the heat treat's about 60 on that, which is, again, that balanced kind of combination. Uh, the cladding, as I mentioned, is a multi-layered um, Kind of got a little bit of etching on it, but a multi-layered soft uh, stainless with um, you know multiple layers with some Damascus patterning in it on either side. We'll take a closer look at that. Uh, the weight and dimensions on these can vary a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is 185 grams or about 6.6 .6 ounces, and the edge length is about 238, slightly under the 240, but close to 240, about 9.4 inches on the edge. The overall length from tip to the back of this particular type of handle is about 15.1 inches. Thickness wise, they're not super thick, um, but they are fairly stiff and they've got a good sturdy feel to them on the board. This one's about two and a half millimeters at the back. And then I got about 2.2 in the middle and it really doesn't lose much thickness. There's not much taper to it, but it does thin up a little bit as you get towards the tip. And then the tip is, you know, not super skinny, but it's got a pretty nice, you know, pretty nice grind to it. So the tip works pretty well. This is not a laser. It's got a little bit of more meat at the tip and the edge. This one's actually ground a little bit thinner at the edge than the 210 I just looked at, 215. But the performance on these is good and kind of just generally balanced type performance. Um, let's see, blade height's about 47 and three quarters. So you've got a fairly wide neck here. Um, and the handle kind of matches that, so it's a good spot for your pinch grip. So not a ton of clearance there, but as long as you keep your fingers flat, unless your fingers are really, really big, you should be okay in the cutting board clearance. Handles are octagonal wenge with a, a buffalo horn ferrule. They're very nice handles. You've got a um, good glue-up job there with the tang going into the handle. Uh, the um, shape, as you can see, is somewhat kind of thin this way and a little wider that way. Um, so they've got a little different feel to them, but they still feel pretty good in the hand. It's just uh, a little different, not as symmetrical as some octagonal handles are. Um, I guess let's do our beauty shot here as best I can. You know, I might do it this way because whatever reason, the lighting is just real tricky on that side. I guess it's tricky on this side too. Well, we'll switch gears here. This has a fair amount of polish to it, which is always fun. We'll just do that. How's that? <laughs> Not going to get too much better than that. So the uh, sides do have, again, that uh, multi-layered cladding with some etching on it. You've got a uh, acid-etched kanji on the right side of the blade using it. And then here's the left side of the blade again. Uh, you got your cladding line right here and your core steel. That's the edge, that little shiny part there, edge bevel. Uh, they've done a nice job with fit and finish. Uh, they've uh, squared, rounded off a little bit off the edge on the uh, spine, and they've done a little bit on the choil into the neck here. Uh, the box edge will give it five, six out of ten. You could definitely get this a little sharper. Uh, the edge has um, got a little bit of polish to it, actually, but uh, it'll get a little sharper if you do your part. Um, they are pretty stiff, especially in the back half. Again, really nice fit and finish. And uh, a good kind of sturdy feel on the board. These might be good in a pro environment. if You're so inclined. And here's the edge profile. They are fairly curvy. It's kind of a continuous belly all the way to the back. You won't really see a lot of flat here. If you can chop well, it might be towards the back 25-30% of the blade although it's not super flat back there, but it's a smooth profile. And as you might guess, it's this going to get pretty high on a rock, so this thing will rock like nobody's business. Uh, it's very smooth on that edge profile curvature there. 
and uh, not a good one for drawing tip drawing because you got to get the handle pretty high but it'll rock like crazy and great for push pull cuts glide cuts maybe a little bit of chopping towards the back so overall nice value uh, nice looking knife uh, got a little bit of forgiveness to it again this might be excellent as a prep knife in a pro environment if you're into the wah handle style got a very cool handle on it this is the Yahiko VG10 Damascus Guto 240mm knife from Chef Knives to Go.